the bad acting is back. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for The Oval. This is season one, episode 19. The bad acting is back. We don't need any scenes with Barry that are longer than five or six minutes because the bad acting and the, the terrible facial expressions return. And I ain't here for it. He had a whole scene with Nancy and they went back and forth. She went to see him. She told him, who are you? Don't play games with me. Because he's telling her, yeah, I killed her. Talking about Ruth. Going on and on. And then he's going on to this other thing. He's, she's like, you're blaming me. And he's like, mm. she told him, I love you, son. But we've done way too much for you. I'm very disappointed in seeing the boy that I'm looking at. Because you're not a man. I'm leaving here. I'm done. I'm going back and sit with the man, which is your father. You're a little boy. You're not taking accountability for anything that you've done. You're not telling me the truth. You're blaming everything on me. He told her, basically, I don't like to tell you nothing anyway about how I feel because every time I tell you the truth, you always get sick. So she's like, oh, so you thinking I'm thinking all that? So there's like all these underlying supposed family issues that they actually really have. But all that's fine. Nancy, cool. But Barry ain't. He don't have the, the, the level of skill to carry off this scene. It, it was bad. It was a bad scene. I was like, ugh. So she ended up leaving out. The lieutenant's like, you done already? She gonna say, baby, I am beyond done. Because she told him just as nice. She said, I didn't even want to come see you today. I only came down here because of your daddy. I said, oh, she was getting tired of his sh shit, you know. And again, you know your kids. You know your kids. Something's wrong with him. Something's wrong with him. The daddy don't want to believe it, but he know it. And the mama know he a whack job. Anyway, there's more to Barry than, than that meets the eye. And we found that out going forward. But they need a different actor. He's not. He, he, he's not. He can't carry this. He can't carry this. Okay, next we see old Victoria Victoria and Hunter. He didn't change the mattress because she told him, you're going to do it yourself. She, he changed the mattress and all of that. And they had a little exchange back and forth. You know, they're normal. I'm like, okay. You know, I used to like to see them get into it, but it's just like it's starting to be more and more of the same. So it's like, okay, we come on, Tyler. We, we need something else. But they have their little thing. And when he told her, she said to him something about the, uh, the dead girl. Something about you have that whore all in this bed and in that bed and and I'm supposed to feel bad for you and this that the other and told her you know she could never be me and this that the he said you know what I love how you whores rank yourselves I said oh <coughs> oh oh cut her deep with that one I was like oh damn I mess they let her know you you a whore just like she is you ain't no better than she is and you giving yourself some rank. But ain't nobody else paying your ass no attention. I said, oh, my. After that, we see Ray and Priscilla. Now, they had had an old conversation earlier about the fact that they haven't had sex in weeks. And he was really wanting to bang her out. Um, so she, you know, they were sitting there talking and saying, oh, yeah, we're going to get it on tonight or whatever. So they would flirt with each other. Victoria walked in on it. And then she found out some information for herself. And it's going to be on and popping, baby, because she said... Uh, he apologized and he went, she said, you couldn't be a good, very good service, man, if I could just walk up on you. He's like, I'm sorry, ma'am, whatever. He walks out. She says to Priscilla, you shouldn't be flirting with secret service. She says, he was just being silly. Nothing like that has ever happened. We really apologize, ma'am. It won't happen again. This, that, the other. She says, like I said, you shouldn't be flirting. With Secret Service, you're out of order. And he's married. Honey, Priscilla sat, poked her chest out. She said, I know, ma'am. I know he's married. He's married to me. I said, oh, got you, bitch. Honey, she got you, Victoria. But only thing, honey, that turned a fire on in Victoria. Because, see, there's women who love that type of challenge. And she's one of those nasty bitches. She is going to be on your husband hot 
and heavy, just to spite you, bitch. But baby Priscilla let her have it. She says, yes, I know he's married. He's married to me. I said, oh, catch it, bitch, and get on out my face, first lady whore. I said, all right, baby. <laughs> oh, Priscilla, you're going to pay for that, though. But okay, moving on. So then Victoria has a run in with Donald. I said, oh, girl, you are really showing yourself today. She was cut back. She told him, I don't like you because I don't believe you and I don't trust you. You know why? Because you sleep with men and you don't admit it. You won't just come out. It's 2020, honey. I said, oh, she grabbed me. So why don't you just come out? He's looking at her and she said, and do you know why I'm the first lady? I said, because I'm a brown girl. And this country would never put me into the space. But I'm really the one running this. So what you're going to be doing, if you don't want me to tell your secrets, is you're going to give me intel. I want briefing every day. And I want it dropped off to me. And when you bring the briefs, as a matter of fact, just bring his briefs to me. Because he's stupid. He's stupid. He ain't going to read them anyway. So you just bring them to me. You understand? Totally blackmailed him. I said, oh, my. And then told him, last thing, don't ever ask me questions. Because questions, people who ask questions means they're hiding something. Don't be asking me no questions. But I have one for you. Why don't you just come out, honey? It's 2020. Free yourself, child. I said, oh, God. Now, it was, it was a mess. But, Tyler, this stuff is recycled. Her whole behavior... Catch it, y'all. The whole behavior of her is recycled. You just gave her Veronica's character from have and have nots, and she not she couldn't carry it the way Veronica carries it. So we didn't get the same that we get for Veronica when she does it to Jeffrey on have and have nots. It didn't come across that way with Victoria. Victoria is such a bitch that she would have said that way more crass, way more crass than Veronica because Veronica is very sophisticated and highbrow. Victoria is not sophisticated, nor is she highbrow. She just ha she's an old, messy, ghetto bitch who's mean as hell who just happens to be the first lady. So their verbiage wouldn't be the same. And you've slipped up and gave us Veronica's verbiage out of Victoria and it didn't work. So that's just a note. I, no, I'm charging you for that one. I want my check. Drop it in my PO box. Anyway, moving on. Fix that. Fix it. You got time. If loving you is wrong, it's gone now. You have time. Fix that. Moving on. So then this something real stupid happened. Tyler Perry style. Barry gets cleared of all charges. What? Because you ready to move on. Because that's all that is, Tyler. You being lazy as and you want to move on. And I, I ain't feeling it. I ain't feeling it. I ain't feeling it. I ain't feeling it. You want to move the storyline on. And that's you just cleared him of all the charges. So it wasn't really Ruth that got killed. It was somebody else. The blood was animal blood. And then you put everything else on Picky. It's Picky's. Picky was in the car. The gun belongs to Picky. And nobody knows where the fix came in at. Nobody. Uh, Ray don't know. Ray, the, the daddy don't know. Richard don't know. The lieutenant didn't know. Nobody knows where that fix came in, but everybody's just questioning it. And Barry is so stupid. When the lieutenant goes to let him go, and he's like, his boss told him, we don't have anything. We need a confession. So he's in there as a favor to Ray and trying to make him do the opposite. Barry, it took Barry 20 minutes to figure out he's leading you on what to say so you can get out. Says, so is this money yours? No, that money ain't mine. I don't know where that money came from. This, that, this money ain't yours? Because if this money ain't yours, I can't use it to bail you out. And then he kept saying, think about what you're saying. Think about your answers before you speak. Was your cousin in your car? 
Now my cousin wasn't in my car. Think about your answers before you speak. Was your cousin, your dead cousin, that's your dead cousin. He's dead. You can't charge a dead man with a crime. Was your dead cousin in your car? Was that guy your dead cousin? Yeah. I said, oh, Lord. I sat there, and I'm not going to lie to you all. I'm not going to lie to you all. I actually thought about turning this off. Very bad place to be with me, Tyler, and you know it. Very bad place to be with me, but I literally thought about turning this off during that scene. There was a whole nother little situation. The alarm went off. They said somebody had breached the fence. Two people had a bre bre uh, uh, breached the fence. They had made it over the fence and they had moved everybody. Child Ray had to go get Victoria. She gonna say, I'm busy. What is that god awful noise? It's like, we gotta go. So they had to run. You had to go grab them and put them, separate everybody up, put them in bonkers and stuff. Child, she, I ain't going out of, Ray said, listen, ma'am, I will pick you up and carry you on out of here. I said move and shut up and move now. And she was looking at him, and he got to dragging her. She's like, wait a minute, I can't do this this fast in these four-inch heels. I'm like, uh, and she, stop it. Everybody know if you in the White House and that damn siren go off, baby, that... Anybody got to tell me to run? Shit, if you see if you see Secret Service running, bitch, you better run. <laughs> now, now let's just get to that. We just go. I ain't worried about the house people. If you see Secret Service running, bitch, you better get booking. Period. Anyway, and they didn't look like they was running to the fight. They was running away. You better get booking. Anyway, during all of this, you know they got to to get everybody back. And let everybody loose and everything. They have to scan the grounds. Child Max them found the blood under the damn rug in the bedroom. So we ended out there. I don't know what's going on with that. But Kyle did have a conversation with Donald. And Donald was like, I would like to strangle that bitch. And he was like, just, why are you even worried about it? And yeah, why don't you come on out? I was like, what? Kyle thought the whole thing was funny. Like, he's really, he, something wrong with him. He's a little left to center. But, yeah, he thought it was all funny. And he said, yeah, you might as well come on out. No, no, might as well come out. He might as well shut his mouth like he been doing. And he need to leave you alone. That's what he need to do. He need to leave your ass alone. He might be okay. Anyway. Um, while they were in the bunker, you know, they down there. She in there bothering Ray again. I said, girl, she ready to come out. She's going to come for Ray. She really is. She's going to come for him. What a messy self. The president's over there talking to Kyle. Because they in the bunker together. He asking Kyle, I know you probably, are you a tits man? This, that, and the other. Talking to him about women. And she had said earlier that how stupid that Hunter was. Hunter, she told Donald, I know my husband don't know because he's stupid. He ain't paid no attention to you being one of the girls. Child, he said, I know you banging out one of these chicks in here in this White House. Which one is it? He's like, Donald. Child, and the, the, president, the president just start laughing because he don't believe him. He thinking it's all a joke. He is stupid, just like she said. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I said, oh my goodness. A mess. And um, Uma was actually with... Um, Yuma, brother, is, was with Max when they found out what's going on. So that's coming in the next episode. We're going to find out there's going to be basically X's on Max and Yuma's backs because they know what happened. So I don't know. But like I said, I really started to turn this off tonight. I really did. Anyway, I'm done. I'm out. I will talk to y'all next week.